Welcome, welcome to the Smoking Word. What's up, everybody? We are back with another one. The Smoking Word is brought to you by CasaDeRock.com. You heard it. CasaDeRock.com. That's my merch spot. If you want to support the show, you want to support your boy, go there right now. We got these brand new hot off the rack caps snapbacks ready to rock we got the mq collab skate deck we did a limited amount very low amount so make sure you get it now while you can we have a lot of new t-shirts we got zip ups pullovers so do your holiday shopping now support the underground and also i need you to go subscribe to on apple music spotify and on youtube you do whatever you got to do, but you subscribe, you like, you you comment, you big it up, you uh, you do whatever you got to do and spread that word and let everybody know we out here. Okay, so um, make sure you follow that. Follow me on Instagram at HoyerRock357. Look out for that new mad boy shit coming out in 2021, COVID or not, and we ready to rock whenever the world opens up. But um. This week, we got a special one. I got my brother, the, my brothers, let me say, the crew from P Pitchfork, LD Nark and Warren Lee. Let's set this shit off. What did you, what was it, a mute button or something? I don't know, I just, it just started working. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. So yeah. right now we got a whole lot. Well, people that because most people are gonna be listening, but the people that are gonna be watching, we're not cut. We're not tuning into um China and freaking <laughs> Thailand and freaking uh, uh, Minnesota. You know where's everybody? So there's two in New York and one in, in Mosquito Land. Right? Yeah, North, <laughs> North Carolina. North, North Carolina, Warren. Where, no, well, yeah, where are you? Where you at, Warren? You're in your house, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm in Queens. 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 Yeah, same here. Same here. And Narks and fucking. So yeah, everybody. This is the crew. People were asking me, "What's up?" When I mean, they were asking me, people to get on, and they were like, "I already had you on 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 the on my on my go to list." But they were yeah, asking right. like, "Yo, when you should get the people from Pitchfork and the and then get all the merch people in." I never thought about it. I was like, I was gonna do that anyway in pieces, but uh. And I figured now we could do the, with the Zoom shit, the multi-camera. There you go. Technology, Which, right? Yeah, technology. <laughs> What's up with your backdrop? Yo, you like that shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is hot. No, you see my long, backdrop? Long. It looks like a mess, but it's not really that. It's really a, I wanted that backdrop to be put there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mess at. So now, yo, so. That's a blue right, of workers. Let me ask you, who's working and who's, who's not? If you're working, raise your hand. <laughs> oh, shit, he's the only one. Oh, shit, the white man. <laughs> no, of course, the white man. <laughs> the white guy, the white guy got the job. They let the white guys yeah. keep the jobs. So, like, yeah, guys. of course, he's white. So, but no, your, your job was a, a lot of computer stuff anyway, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm working remote. So I, I, that's about what changed for me is that, you know, once, once everything started in March, we just, I've been home since then, so. Yeah, you, know, you were you LD, you were tra you were traveling for a little bit too. That you know that's over now too, right? So yeah, I haven't. The only place I really go would be LA, but I haven't even. I probably won't be out there for at least another year. I'm guessing. Yeah, Josh, man, that that sounds horrible, man. That shit bums me out because I'm like, when people <laughs> when people are like, yeah, it looks bad, it's looking bad. I'm like, oh. I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, even domestically, right? That shit. Yeah, black. but you but you know why it's bullshit too in a way. When when I went to when to New York for my mom's wake thing, that was during pandemic hysteria. Yeah, yeah. That was that was in the middle, one, yeah. whatever. And there was mad people out. Yeah, it's yeah. the same. It's 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 you know whatever. It's the same thing right now, right? A narc. It's it, it's like it's open, but like you know, there's limited. You can't do the restaurants are closed indoors now, right? They yeah. limited all the stuff. Yeah, certain areas. Everything's closed at, at at 10 p.m. But I mean, you know, there's still people out. But it's it's dead. Like you go on the subway and it's, yeah, it's dude, dead. fucking nobody See, on the subway. And you Chinese guys were already up on the mask mad years ago too. <laughs> oh oh yeah, that. man. Too Asia mad. had you that guys shit. The, the Chinese guys that have the investments over there. <laughs> How do you know we're not? 
Yeah, shit. You wouldn't be on the Smoking Word podcast if you did. <laughs> you know what's crazy right now? If you hear on the news, they have all these, they're busting all these after hours plots. You know, oh, hell yeah. All really? the party joints. Yeah, you're know, crazy, man. Night forget clothes. the news. I look on my on my Instagram and there's people like videotaping from yeah, jams. Yeah, they don't like, give a fuck. Where the fuck is this going on? Like, yeah. like they're locked down. There's people. There's, there's a place in uh, in Staten Island that, that that had their liquor license taken away, everything, and they're like, we don't give a fuck. They stay open, and you go, and they, they don't even charge you for drinks. That's that's how they stay open. You know what I mean? Said, yeah, because they took donations. Dude, like they took church. their liquor. Yeah, they took their liquor license. Like they technically can't sell liquor, but they stayed open because they were like, "Fuck you," basically. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and so, Warren, yeah. so the last thing you so. Well, right, look, listen, right, I, right I, now, I'm, you, I'm I'm doing real estate right now. So I I'm know you doing real working. estate. But I'm glad these two guys are here too. Yeah, is is the teching <laughs> over? Uh, you ain't teching with nobody. You got one more tour, one more fantasy, or whatever. Which one? It's fucking over, bro. Unless oh. you know what? Unless right, Mad pandemic Ball calls, is unless, over. Yo, unless Madball calls me, I'll go. Oh, shit, look at yo, pandemic is over. Oh, right? Shit. The village people are reuniting. <laughs> they need that guitar tech for the, the, the Indian. The Indian plays guitar when they do the rock set. I only work for the uh the the um, policeman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So but but are you teching anymore or what are you doing? Um technically I'm retired, but <laughs> Uh, like there's so no you know, come you'll, you'll right check it. it's not even that it's just one of those things like yo you can never really get out right it's like the mob boy right <laughs> if you can never really get out you know what i mean so you never know like see if the, when the pandemic's over so you know, yeah if, 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 if the, the right situation comes up yeah, yeah. Well, you know i'll maybe i'll go back out so, for the summer or something right so all right yeah so lb's covered you have that and you're also doing i'm um, real estate right i'm doing real estate i'm also doing uh work of a richter straps right so selling uh guitar straps now yeah so, so you remember yeah but everybody out there warren hooked me up with a dope package of straps that's coming so when it doesn't come i want you to hit them up <laughs> and let them know. where is it Yo, I got I, lost in customs, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. and Nark, what about yeah. you? So Nark works, was working at a lot of clubs downtown, and yeah, what the fuck's the deal shot. with that? No live music right now. None. You know? Yeah, there's nothing, you know? There's nothing happening. You, you know, if you're not playing, we're not open, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what it is, you know? So I don't see anything happening to sometime next year, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah next year. Weather, weather. Shots, you either know? Summer, either summer or September, I say. is, is yeah. the, is That's the what I'm hoping, some and, of that. And you know what's scary? I had Zoli on. And as crazy as he is, his brother works and he's a fucking what you, biotech doctor, uh -huh. germ tech, some shit. One of those fucking, some very intricate white person, you know, title. <laughs> but, um, and he started saying, oh, but, you know, he's also extreme. Zoli's extreme. But with the way he was saying, like, we all know another wave is coming. People are getting sick again or whatever they claim or whatever. But Zoli's like, oh, it's going to be a dark winter. And he goes, okay, <laughs> next year, 2022. And I've been hearing 2022 more lately. And that's yeah, well, coming me out. Let's see what happens. You know, they talk about all this vaccine listen, stuff and see if that, you know, how, listen, how that plays off with anything. But like at the end of the day, like, have you booked, you know, what are you booking? Like, are you booking any Mabel shows, you know, till the end of next year? You know, I mean, it's kind of hit or miss right now, right? Yeah, so we, have, like, listen, we had, we Freddie had rebooked the Mad Ball, Knock Loose, Harm's Way tour we had right before this shit happened for February. But, um, I, yeah, I kind of have a nothing. feeling that it's, it's not happening. Happen, it's nah. not gonna happen. And oh, you gotta remember it. too. Listen, it takes a long time to convince all these people that they have to take this vaccine. Right? So you're not just gonna just be, you know, hey, there's a vaccine and everyone's gonna rush out to get yeah, it. Yeah, hell no, hell no, you know? exactly. <laughs> a, you gotta like, <laughs> there's there's gotta be you gotta convince people, and that's not gonna take overnight. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think yeah. there's a lot of people also anxious to get the hell out of their, you know, yeah, it's their, both their yeah. zone, and then you know they they hear a show book. I think a lot of people are gonna go want to go to a show. Sure. How how the uh, crowd surfing is gonna be? I don't know about that. Or in sharing the, the mic, you know how that that's gonna play out. You know, in the bubble. Well, look <laughs> yeah. at you know LD since he's kind of white. You know he has some family members that are in big places. Not if if, if you give, all, he's not he's white. He's Spanish. For he's yeah, Spanish. I know he, he got a little grit in him. But if you give his <laughs> important family member the the you, I know you two got uh, the the Wuhan hotline number. 
where you could hook them up with. Maybe they could hash things out and we could get this whole vaccine thing going a little quicker. I don't know. We'll, we'll pass out that sumo suit. You know? we'll yeah. Do, we'll get go to shows. Yo, aren't you like, yeah. LD, aren't you like, aren't you related to a Rockefeller man? Come on, get, your, get us out of this. Man. Yo, talk to your peeps. No juice. No juice. <laughs> no juice. Yeah, talk to your peeps. All right, yeah. I got a question. I got a question for the three of you. Did you see the Tyson fight last night? Yes. I didn't no. see it. You didn't I see it? Good. I heard he looked good, though. Yeah, well, all right, Mark, what, what, what did you think? What did you think? Yeah, I mean, it was quick. Two minutes was quick, you know? Yeah. I think it was Jones, two minutes? Uh, yeah, it was yeah, two, two minutes minute around. Round. Eight two-minute two rounds. Exactly. They went but, the I don't know, Tyson looked good. Right, so, yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Like, did, did Roy Jones just hug him the whole time? And just a lot, but, but it, you know, he was doing it in a strategy way, of course. And you were going to punch yeah, with moving. the deadliest punch of all time. Like, no, yeah. you didn't try to, that's like, why you stepped in the ring with him. You no, know? what he tried to do was outbox him. Yeah, like, we, so yeah, exactly. He's a pussy, bro. Yeah, look, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all right. On, bro. I did. A, I signed you up for See, the you, next one, Warren. You're uh, fighting Tyson look, it, in an eight rounder. Listen, listen, I'm not going to last eight rounds, first of all. That's one. <laughs> and second, if I went in the ring with Tyson, I would at least attempt to fight him. You know <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, you know, exactly huh. trade, I don't Let think. Me, like not like someone like me, I ain't trading punches. Yeah, 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 you hear yeah, me? Yeah, so, uh, um, well, well, yo, at the end of the day, I think Jones just stood try to stay away from those body shots. Yeah, know? and because he, he got he hit a couple got, of times, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he says he got hit twice. And he goes, yo, he goes, everything that that guy hit me with hurt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. And they weren't going full blown, no. full blown, but they were no, going. You know, it's an exhibition exactly. fight. And boy, fifty. You know, man. Tyson's how old? Yo, they're both retired. Fifty-four, I think. They're both yeah, coming out of retirement. Nobody wants to get hurt either, right? You know what I mean? That'd be horrible. If somebody got hurt, God forbid, you know? Horrible. And so, I no, mean, I think they were going to stop it regardless if someone got, yeah, you know, bro. something, it's, you know? That's but. what people have to realize. Like, if this from the look, if this was a real boxing match, that's a different different story. This was exhibition fight. Yeah, but still, they, 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 you know, when you get two, you know, people, good. look, if we're competitive, if we're doing, if we're sure, playing quarters sure, for drinks, sure, you get sure, competitive. Sure, sure. You're going to sure. get two champions. Well, so they're not, you know. Well, that's why they declared it, you know, a draw. Because, dude, to have someone come to have a loser in that is a bad look for them. Yeah, LD, you gotta, you gotta watch. You gotta watch the 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 opening fight when 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 um uh, Nate the, Robinson, the one, yeah, oh, I, didn't see that. Dude, I, didn't watch I saw that clip. Dude. Amazing, yeah, the card was dope. <laughs> Yo, he, what was he doing in the ring, bro? He had no business. You know, that. he went for it or whatever, but he got caught. Bro, he, didn't, he didn't train, bro. You get you. Yeah, he did. Of course, he did. Man. No he props, did. Warren. He didn't get. He didn't get. He, yo, he didn't get hit harder than that in training. Come on. Listen, bro. you back that fucking Danny Larusso, but you ain't giving this dude props for fighting a real fight. Listen, I get Nark punches me harder when we train, bro. But yeah, no, of course. They said that there was it was part of the rules. It was there was going to be no winner for the Tyson fight. Yeah, yeah. They said yeah. they go like that. They still had a you know a, what do you want to call it a, a, a people like former champions that are like celebrity judges for the fun of yeah. it. Yeah. Exhibition and, fight, man. People had yeah, fun. Yo, how much money did they make? You know what I mean? How much money I heard they each got paid yeah. ten million, which Dang. it's a lot, but not I don't yeah. think a lot in that. Yeah, but that's still. not a, that's not a, that's not a payday for those guys. No, man. of those course not. But they're they retired, you know. But yeah, like, yeah, still, yeah. I'll take the ten million right now. Yeah, apparently yeah, yeah. some you know. I'll the, take a, that, that money, a lot of money right now. I'll take a job right now. Yeah, I'll take a job right now. Yeah, I'll take a White Castle burger. Was Adesanya like the? He was one of the commentators. He's talking. You know, it was good. You know, he yeah. was talking and all that shit. Oh, Snoop was funny, right? Snoop, yeah, Snoop but commentating was amazing. Yeah. I read, little... something... <laughs> I read something been... today Snoop. that I read something that Snoop uh Dana White was considering having like an alternate broadcast with Snoop doing it. You you know what the, you remember the UFC would do well with him and Uriah Hall, and then it was like he would get to too like I don't know, he wasn't as funny. But when he was doing yeah. this shit yesterday at the boxing match, that shit had me on the floor. You had to hear him. He was like, Yo, so did, did Mike Tyson quit smoking weed while he trained? No, he smoked the whole time, dude. Really? Are you sure? I heard the rumor was Listen, great. I just heard him a half hour ago in the interview. He goes, I smoked through my whole training. Right, I did it when him. I was a champion. I did it good now. It's just what right, I am. All right, cool. Good, good. And you want to know what? He had more gas than Roy Jones. 
Oh, yeah, because he trained. Look at it. Yeah, but Roy Jones was a guy all about gas. You know, he's still a, you know, still a guy who's in shape, you know. I didn't crazy. know Roy fought uh, heavyweight. I thought he was a light heavyweight. Yeah, he did the one, but he, it was he like, ended his know, career in heavyweight. Time where, oh yeah, when he fought the Spanish dude, right? Yeah, yeah. Ruiz, it was kind of like, yeah. yeah. Look, he's he's a great technical boxer, but he's too too egomaniac. Like, you know what I mean? Like Mike Tyson let his boxing speak. Well, you him. have to, but to be a champion, you have to have a big ass ego. You know, you got to think you're the best. Yeah, but or else you're gonna be like, no, nah, yeah, you're right. You could kick my ass. But he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great boxer, but you know, Mike Tyson, come on, man, My, he's one of the greatest of all time, you know. So, and um, but yeah, now nah, this whole shit, but it's like that, I'm glad that shit happened. It was something to do during this whole shit. Like, obviously, fucking, there's no fucking shows for how long, and and that's what's driving me crazy. I'm like, well, we're working on another record, but if it wasn't for the, oh, this was why another good reason to get you guys on, which was good. It was like right now. It's so crazy because merch is how bands stay alive and companies yeah. are staying alive. But it's also a hard time for merch cut for people selling merch because everybody's selling and mm-hmm. also it's people, not everybody's working. True, true. Yeah. So yeah. but what I was gonna ask you guys, do you guys see like obviously nobody's a fucking a multimillionaire fucking company? I wish one of us was because then <laughs> I could I could ride that coattail into the million, <laughs> but, but has has it seemed during this whole shit? How what has it been? with you still pockets where certain items do good? Has um uh, you been moving merch? Has merch not been moving as much, or is it kind of the same? Uh, you know what? At the end of the day, I think it. You know, one thing with the pandemic, it, it was able to bring us three back together into pushing new stuff out of out of pitchfork you know yeah you know right now you know we have a lot more time on our hands you know and uh you know just being able to, you know produce more designs more ideas some doing some collabs you know yeah and that's you know been able to help with the rotation of you know the, the store and everything so you know at least that's you know a positive thing that I came we, out of this i think this this year we put out like the most shit we have in a while yeah, it, yeah. Sure. not not yeah. all of it like i don't know if you could say one particular design sold the best or whatever it all you know whatever it, it it i guess we have an average really right guys so you know what i mean it always hits the average so yeah you know? okay yeah. So, it's, so it's still consistent throughout this whole shit yeah, yeah we, we did we we kind of hooked up the site a little bit redid it um just got you know newer stuff we had not you know it kind of gave us a, a, a it gave it a facelift yep. yeah yeah to kind of you know, get things in motion again. So it was kind of good for that. Yeah, we were kind of slack in the last couple of years, right? So yeah, <laughs> you know, that's like it's weird because that's the shit. Keeping like you know, making uh, like guys like me keeping me uh, you know afloat to hold me over here and there. But even then, it's nothing crazy. That's why I'm oh, constantly no. trying to drop something new and very limited because you know I don't put out a lot of items at once. Like quantity, I do a lot of different stuff, but it's because you know, you could only sell a certain amount. But so my whole concept is try to keep some new items flowing, but just not in large quantities. But I'm like, fuck, if it wasn't for merch, those masks could be, you'd be used for fucking robbing banks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, people, I think I there's, also a, there's also a misconception too. I think a lot of people think like, you know, dude, we bring in thousands and thousands of dollars every month. It's like, yeah. We we just float, man. We float by. Ain't yeah. none of us making money. I off hear it. you. I mean, we all work. Everyone has job. You know, LD yeah. got two kids to take care of, right? So you know, it's it's it's, it's a labor of love, really, right? Yeah, that's how I wanted the people to hear that fucking because a lot of people think, yeah, you know, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy shirts, like you know, do that, and then I'm gonna sell t-shirts, and like, and then you find out there's a, like a trillion more things to it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's there's a lot. That's a lot of work behind. Like it, the same know? shit with my yeah. shit. Like, yo, you know exactly. how that. Is. I literally make enough money to put it right back in to get the shit that I need to yep. put out for yeah. the next orders. Exactly. Kind maybe, of like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, it maybe. paid for the, you know, a ticket machine or for a yeah. state machine or I, you know, it paid for stickers that I got or whatever, but ain't, you know, but, but it keeps that alive and that helps yeah. keep the brand alive. Yeah. It keeps the band alive. It's, it it's keeps investing in your business. you know. What I mean? And so, also in the world, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, I tell people we feed people, in our world with this shit, and I don't mean just like, it's everybody doing the extras, the podcast, selling merch, putting out a zine, 
you know, putting these clip little videos out, content videos or whatever. It's like, yo, without that shit, that yeah. fucking music scene dies. It's like that co-promote, you know, you, you know, you're, you're supporting each other and that's the only way to keep moving at this particular yeah. time, you know? It's the only like, way, thank God for <laughs> a couple, you know, same thing, you know, yeah. if you ain't collabing right now, it's like, you ain't trying, then you are right. You know what I mean? Yep, like, exactly. Because you know? it's like, well, well, hold on. Oh, you don't sell like you don't sell as much stuff as like Amazon. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, exactly. That's what people. <laughs> you're, you know, you're, in a the band, you're in a band. You're in a, you're in a band. You do shit right out of the house, and people hit hit me up like three, four days later. Yo, I made an order about um eight hours ago, and um, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where is fuck it? I, do you know who you talking? To? You, you saw the ad on Instagram, not on fucking yeah. on, on Google Plus or whatever. I'm like, there's a human <laughs> doing this, and he, a gorilla. Do, you know, doing this, and it's like, you know how that shit is. It's like, when we I say in house, we in house. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, but yo, you're in a band, though, Hoy. You, aren't you rich? You oh, yeah, of course. They go, we saw that picture of you play, playing a, a festival for 50,000 people. And I'm like, yeah, yeah but <laughs> Iron Maiden was headlined. Yeah. And we were me, like, the, yeah, the, me and like 10 other bands, right? Yeah, me, Fuck 10. It. Me, yeah. Yeah, it was me and fucking 40 <laughs> bands, you know, like, yo. Sometimes. Today. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting in the middle, we're in the middle of moving. So I got a storage unit and it's got me thinking a lot about the, uh, we used to have the pitchfork shit in the storage unit. Yeah. Me and Nark go there on weekends and look, package all the shit up, take it right yeah. to the post office, drop it off. Yeah. Uh, yo, how about when we had in my apartment for fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yo, do you remember, do you remember when uh, the dude was, I forgot who it was. He was a friend of, of, of Steve. I wasn't, I wasn't even living there. We still had all that shit there, bro. <laughs> Steve, Steve's buddy was like, yeah, I opened it up. It was Pete. It was Pete's brother, Steve. Yeah. Huh? Oh, you had shit at his house? We, we, we used to have it over there. At remember, the, yo, Hoy, remember the, the, the apartment in Forest Hills, right? Yeah. But remember at one point I didn't live there? But when I didn't live there, we were still putting merch there, man. It was fuck. I was a poor bastard. Like, yo, you're paying half the rent, fucking half the shit. Yeah. <laughs> you remember? Everywhere, boxes everywhere. Fuck. Yeah, you remember when, when Steve was Steve's buddy was talking about it smelling like cigarettes? Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> you guys like packing shirts, things and smoking buds. We sit there with ashes shit. hanging out of our mouth, wrapping. Yeah. And we'd, <laughs> we'd send it off, and people would be like, "I opened it up, and everything smelled like a cigarette." Yeah, probably shouldn't. No, be that was because it. it was on the boat. Remember, yo, back in the day, stuff used to be sent by boat. It would take like a month to get to Europe. Do you remember crazy. that? Crazy. Yeah. You, know, you still have that option. Boat. No, you know, yo, they don't do that no more. That's crazy. My boat? Hell yeah, they still do No, but everything gets, like nah, everything's like was, freaking priority. It, it was a, very I'm No, no, I'm not, 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 not a, no, I'm saying not our stuff, but I'm saying general Doing this stuff. shit myself, I don't sell to Europe. You know, I got, you know, GSR, you know, uh, I got a web store out there that, because they, they handle yeah. that. I can't do any items from here to Europe because that shit is so much money. I feel like I'm fucking raping people. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, it's well, crazy. Sometimes they it. pay just as much. Exactly. Shipping. Yep. The, shipping the shipping too. That's what I mean. The shipping is ridiculous. Yeah. And a couple people don't understand. It's not that I don't want to. It's like then packages get held. They pay so much. Yeah, they held packages. That got, oh, yeah. We know and a couple of those. And there's yeah. nothing you can do about it either because it's exactly. like, you, you got to call customs. It's, it's not on, you know, once the package leaves, that's not on you anymore, right? You know what I mean? So that sucks. I think we got lucky with that for a long time because we didn't have a lot of mishaps. Like th things would make it where they needed to go. Sometimes it took time, but yeah, that was our uh, biggest thing. Exactly what LD just said. You know, yeah. it was uh, it was pretty, 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 pretty good. But it's at the end of the day, it just took a little while. You know. All right, let me ask you: Out of you three, then who does exactly what? Do you guys cover three areas? Are you all three do a little of everything? I don't do anything. I just hang out. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke a lot. Yeah, smoke. <laughs> we, nah, yo. No, so, I, so, so, uh, Narc runs all the, uh, all the, like, all the, the, the books, right? He deals wow. with all the books. LD, uh, he does a, the, the, a lot of the de design stuff, right? And then LD also does a lot of design stuff. And LD deals with a lot of the numbers, too, like the, uh, what we order and stuff, wow. right? And then, and then, uh, um, I'm uh, I guess I, I guess I'm I'm really just kind of like the the sales guy, right? I kind of push it as much as I can. I get the I used to get all the bands to wear yeah. it, you know what I mean? So, and we all we all collaborate on ideas, right? So that's what the you know everything that you see, it's usually the three of us ag all agree on it, or maybe you know two of us agree, and then one guy's like, "Hey, okay, whatever." But and, either and, way, and, and it's cr the crazy part is that that you know 
you guys know better than any. All right, how long? First of all, how long has this been already now? Um, Pitchfork, yeah. how long? Two thousand three. Yeah, that's crazy. So what, right? what is Yo, that? that's like crazy. Two thousand three is crazy. Years? That's almost freaking thirteen years. Crazy. Jesus. And I know how you guys got the name, but you want to let everybody know how did you get the name? Who came up with the name? I know the whole. L shit, but... LD, you want to tell the story? It was I had a day off in between, like. A seven month tour. I was home for like one day, right? LD, remember we were at Freddie's birthday party, I think. Yeah, yeah, in Brooklyn. Right. Um, uh, we yeah. were talk. We had talked about it, right? But we just, you know, you guys were just starting to have Hazen Street jump off, and uh, and we were like, you know, we got to do something, you know. And we, we actually we're trying to get trying to write right. that wait, wait, wait. like that's I'm trying to do with you guys. Yep. yep. <laughs> actually, we had that conversation before I moved to Thailand. Yeah, and then. And then you guys went ahead. Yeah, you guys went ahead with it while I was yeah. there. And then when and I what, came back, what, yeah, wait, yeah. So, all right, so, so um, w w w you guys talk, but um, you, were, you were talking, well, because I remember you one time telling me, or I don't know if it just when it started, I just remember you telling me once, like, I always wanted to start a, something that, that, that was called Pitchfork. And I said, oh, yeah, it was dope because you were a DJ. There was something, the, lo the, the logo, I don't remember where. I saw... I saw something. I always remember this. It was like I was working for my uncle at the time. And, and I looked at, I was looking at like a two by four that he had these shelves built with. And I saw like a knot in the wood that kind of looked like a pitchfork and looked like the logo. So then I kind of rough sketched it out and then had someone like do it a little more hooked up like on Illustrator. But um, I always remember that it was like the logo came basically from like something that I interpreted uh, yeah, out of a knot in the woods. That's wood. how it happens. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. And so, so you came up, and then all right, and then right away, how did you say, all right, yo, Nark, War, how did that that all fall into place? I said, did you how, say like, I remember. Okay, so how I remember it was, dude, I was on on tour, right? LD, we we kind of like at Freddie's party, we both were kind of like, yo, let's do this, right? And yeah. then I left. For Which another, party? Like, it was his birthday party. His birthday party. I thought, it, I thought yeah. it was going to jail party or coming <laughs> home from jail. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Going to jail was at Ruth Chris, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah that's right. It was, uh, uh, no, it was his birthday. But, I mean, shoot, 17 years ago, we were, we were young, you know? Yeah. And, then, and then I think I, I came home, like, three months later. LD had gotten all, like, the basic, like, groundwork done. You know what I mean? You got some logos and stuff. We found the guy to print. And then our first batch almost didn't get printed because the guy got hit by a subway. Remember that, LD? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was calling him off the hook, like screaming with <laughs> his voicemail and shit. And then I called me back two days later. He's like, yo, I got hit by a train. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, oh cool. Sorry. Cool. So, yeah, what about my <laughs> shirts? They're ready? <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you heal up, make sure yeah, you send yeah. your shirts. Yeah. Look, you always train the double cool heal up. I'm going to pick them up. You're like, just... <laughs> and, and, and then I think I don't know I don't remember how much longer later knock you that's, that's when you came jumped in on it right it was like, yeah I maybe, came back I moved back a, a couple of months late yeah moved, yeah something like that uh, where you came back yes, you came back from Thailand yep. yeah he was moved back Thailand. Thailand. yeah about a year later exactly 2000, yeah. 2004 2004 I came back that was so the initial investment from me and Warren was probably like it was around 500 bucks we put up like 250 a piece yeah now, yeah. That was all we ever put in, like for the first ten years or whatever. Yeah. From there, kind of just we made enough to pay the shit off. To keep yeah, exactly. Pay nah, we, you know what? Yeah. No, we put in a little more over the like. Did we or later on that? we did, but like in the you know. Yeah, you used to set it off. Yeah, yeah, I don't even remember LD. I was I was on tour, right? So I just got fucking bands to wear it. That's at that point. That's what I was doing, right? So here we're. Yeah, that. That was exactly what it is, you know. You know, the one thing with this company, it's always been able to pay, pay itself through, you know. Yeah. And everything was always put back in the company and pushing new stuff out. And yeah, that's the main. That, except that one time, LD took out money and bought a Ferrari, but we don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, pay, we we paid ourselves a lit for like what was like a year or two. We paid ourselves like a little bit each month just to kind of feel like you, it. Was you call, hey, you yeah. call that pay? You call, you call that pay? <laughs> Yeah, then no, we had to pay it back. We had to pay it back. Later, we had to pay it back. No, yeah. You call that pay, bro? What are you talking about? That wasn't we loaned ourselves exactly. money. That's what we did. So, the, the, you know, my uh, what do you call it? Um, my what do you, my gross was enough to get these earbuds. And just don't, <laughs> oh snap! They were dope. That's they were dope. dope. Just not on this today. But that that's 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 what I got out of you know. <laughs> but but the thing is exactly the good shit. You make some, you know, it helps 
put some back in and it pays for some other thing to keep the shit rolling, which you don't got to yeah. come in pocket for. The same thing like this podcast. I tell, like Warren knows, motherfuckers have to subscribe. You know, oh, it, yeah. Hit the button. Oh, hit yeah. the like. Hit the, yo, hit the like button. Like. Subscribe. Comment. Now, look at Comment. It. Oh, Rate. I, I, I'm going to speak for everybody on this page right now. Not one of us would do any of these shits for things we like because you're like just would oversee it. But then when you finally do it, you realize, oh, it's oh, important yeah. and it's free. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. like, you know, if that you, tells that the people like, if you like what you're doing, audience do it. And, and they push your, your, your thing and, and get your, your, your podcast yeah. around more and make it more available, you know, for everybody to get. But, and it, you know, you got, it's basically showing your support. And I tell people that all the time. Like, I understand it now. And it's free. You're not spending any money. That's what just I mean. Yeah, you spend a minute, the f- just less than a minute hit clicking. Hit so where do, you, where do you do that in YouTube? Click. Is that like, you? Like, LD, know. LD, that, that big red button that says subscribe. Yeah, no, hit that. You <laughs> subscribe, you leave a comment. You know, you, I think it's purple on iTunes. Subscribe on the iTunes, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, Whatever. yeah. You leave yeah. a message. But basically, it's like shouting. It's like yelling, yo. We love these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, all, that's all it is. Registered. All that. Yeah, if, you, if you like what's going on, then you—that's what you got to do to keep it going. Yeah, and actually, like, yeah. Cost, that that helps cost the, any the money. person doing the podcast too, because yeah, the more listen. people do it, the more exactly. people do it, they see those, it and they put you the on a top audience. list. Because this is the one thing in this in this type of platform. If, if you know, like you know how many pitchfork p- uh, people that love pitchfork are out there, but you don't know about because they're not on a mailing list. Because yeah. they just won't be part of a mailing list, you know, or, they're or, like, not, or they're not on social media exactly. at all, right? You know I mean? And that happens yeah. all the time. I bat people over the head with ads, and every day I get people, "Yo, when are you gonna put this shirt out again?" And I'm like, "I just blasted the shirt <laughs> last month." They just every look, other listen, day. The, the, like, they just they just want to talk to you, all Yeah, right? no, no, I didn't like. Just want to make conversation. I know. <laughs> no, what it is, not everybody. You know how social media works too. Not everybody. You know, you could have. Ten thousand followers doesn't mean ten people are watch. Ten thousand people are watching again. You get your listen. The, the average, whatever your followers are, you're only reaching about ten percent of what know, you have followers. You, you know gotta I mean? pay. And you're lucky, you gotta lucky if you get that ten percent. It's more like eight percent. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Plus, that, and, and and if you're doing shit on Instagram and and, and Facebook. May, you know, good luck trying to figure out the algorithms, right? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I just do wild style and I just hit them a couple of times. I try to, you know, and I just keep doing new ads because I'm like, it's our own shit. You know, it's my own shit. So and nobody else is going to put my own shit and promote it but me. Yeah. No, that's one thing you're great at. You're, you're really good at uh, keeping your ads out there, keeping up. Yeah, I try. That's all I got, you know, especially now more than ever. It's like. It's literally like the one line. And also, you know, the ad promo, you know, the merch, that helps, obviously. And then doing the, the podcast helps let people know that I got merch. And, you know, it's another platform where they, they get Peter hit on It's your sanity, that. too. You got something to do. You know, so it's like. And, you and, kinda, and what happened? You kind of relaunched the, the podcast during all this, right? You stopped doing it for a little bit. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it, it was like four years I didn't do it. I, I didn't even think it was that long. You know, and I've been wanting. I wish I never stopped. You know, it was it was it was technology that kept it from going because Jay in Europe was t- doing all the the technical stuff, and then it got too crazy when we weren't touring. And then when the whole pandemic should happen, Zoom popped off, and oh, I yeah. saw how it worked because it's meetings and whatever. And then I was like, wait a minute. I was talking Zoom. about native food. I said, yeah, so easy. about Zoom, yo, but I bet, you know, Zoom was like, Zoom was like Viagra, right? Yeah, yo, it's, yeah, if you had stock in that motherfucker, if you had stock in that motherfucker, and everybody, got, hey. it's, it's great, it gives you the video screens, and it automatically puts your audio in a file. Then you could use the audio file to do editing however you want. Very simple. Back in the day, it was not like that. That's why I was yeah. like, you know what, one, the pandemic is going on. Two, I want to stay active. You know, what else could I do? I said, man, I should, I could bring that now. I go, people are home, <laughs> you know? And now I could get, everybody has a webcam or a phone. And yeah, now yeah, yeah. Zoom made it. Yeah, yeah. No, one, know, no one's smart. No one doesn't have, everyone's got time to do shit right now. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, you know, and, and what better time to try to keep our bands or the merch things going? It's like, now you got, that's, 
And if you don't push your shit now during a pandemic, then you're doing all right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because, true. you know, it's not a necessity. Then it's just fun for you. This is fun, but this is also a necessity. You know, it's also, like, you know, it's also when you're doing your podcast or any other, any other artist doing their podcast, it's, it's kind of good hearing, you know, how they're keeping active, you know? Exactly. Yeah. You touch base with everybody. That's why I said, let touch base with everybody like a newspaper. You know, you put out your little newspaper for the day. Okay. You touch base, you, you know, uh, you know, you know, the, the podcast, I never stopped doing it because I didn't want to do it. It was just because it was too much of a pain in the ass. Now with fucking Zoom it's and easier, you do yeah. the shit on the it's so easy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, can we, can we talk about how LD used to get bombed and, and fucking trip over everything? Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't do yo, that? Mom, yo, remember we were walking back to the van in one of those UFCs and next, you know, we just hear a trash can. Bow, bow, bow. We turn around. <laughs> <and> LD <laughs> screen door. He himself it. Up. That was at two, two, hips, yo, two hips. Two hips place. You walk into that screen door twice in one night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He walked through the, yeah, for a guy. He's like, what? He needed uh, glasses. Yeah, that, was he didn't know that was at Hipster's house. Yeah, Yo, remember, remember, LD, remember, remember Wetlands, the podium? Yeah. <laughs> Why, yeah. The podium? Remember that yeah. podium at Wetlands? Yeah. That yeah. podium? That yeah, because the, 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 I forgot exactly what happened, but the, there was a beef broke out or whatever, and I went to run over and, and make <laughs> everything was all right. And, uh, yeah, beef with the podium. <laughs> podium. I tripped over the podium, and everybody was like, yo, LD's flipping the podium. He's pissed off. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, oh, the podium <laughs> fell. I and I was like, yo, LD fucking threw the podium. <laughs> I had to scramble to get up real quick. I remember, like, <laughs> jumping up, make sure nobody saw me. I had a couple oh, people. Oh, shit. I think and what, was the, and um, what I was going to tell you, the during, during this whole pandemic shit, this is when you started dropping the, or did you do it before, all the collabs with the bands, the music? No, we we've been doing collabs. We did that before, right? Yeah. yeah, but I mean, now obviously we've been, you know, we've been doing thinking about, you know, it's it's more of an option, right? So plus we haven't done really a lot of new designs in 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 the last uh, uh, year or two. You know what I mean? So this year, like I said, we've done I think guys, right? This is the most designs we dropped in in, in a while, man. So yeah, we hadn't we hadn't really done. We kind of got lazy yeah. last couple. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, but that's I mean, also life, you know, we all got caught up, you know, so. Yeah, <laughs> lazy probably wasn't the, the right word, I guess just busy, yeah. we all got busy. Yeah. And, then, and then, you know, so we we did that thing with Omerta, right? So mm -hmm. I think we, you know. I'm going to get yeah, Chris we, on here and them. I'm going to yeah. do that same yeah. thing, get, you know, get the, the merch guys on right. and also let people know how to fucking pee. Uh, you know, we just did we just did that collab with you, right? So everyone go check yeah. that out, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. there's that collab out, we're going to fucking, um, I'm going to have um, Gator Futro uh, the the logo up, the yeah. image on that fucking uh, during yeah. the broadcast yeah during the broadcast Where, yo where's where is he should be like the pro he should be producing this from his computer yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 behind the glass. production yeah, assistant yeah listen maybe he's here and maybe he's not i just <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about that uh, yo, he's production gonna be, assistant he's gonna, he's gonna pop out of the bed like in the <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i'm gonna hear you yo, yo remember remember uh remember when we uh when I when I stowed away in your room like in in uh, a couple years ago at B and B Bowl, oh, uh, every, every year y'all got stowed away. But it was the one night Stephen got bombed, and I remember. Oh that. yeah, the one which one when he wanted to fight people on the street. That <laughs> was the next morning. I just remember. Oh, I remember that. In the bathroom. Oh, oh I remember. God. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, forget oh, it. I love it. I know. I wish there was a fucking when. Hopefully next year, black and blue could happen. Uh, hopefully, man. Fucking, you know this. You know, this one. Yeah. Okay, hold on. So back. If to not me. in March. Hopefully, you know, towards the end of the year, right? Let me ask you this. So, so like, all right, with the, with the, the, how many bands did you do? You know how many bands you guys collabed with as far as putting out the music with you guys? Oh, music, man. Fuck. All right. So the music thing, I kind of started separately. Right? Yeah. And then, um. We've got, I think, what, seven releases now? Yeah. Right? So, yeah. so we're, we're, I'm, I'm working on eight, and then I th I'm working on, like, a, another uh, release that isn't kind of connected to that series. All right. That's who's it. the seven releases? It's, um, all right, the first one we did was uh, Sheer Terror and the Old Firm Casuals. I just right? had Paulie on here. Yep. That's a good uh, combo right there. Yep. That's, and then the second combo was Agnostic Front Powerhouse, OBHC. Oh. Um Third one was who's the third one? Rance was it Rancid? Rancid and Murphy's Law, right? <laughs> they, they're and, looking at you like word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, 
<laughs> then, oh no, no, maybe the third. No, the third one was Sworn Enemy and Count Time, right? The fourth oh. one was Rancid Murphy's Law. The fifth one was Vietnam Take Vengeance. Sixth one was Sick of It All, the Eulogy from California. Matt Henderson's mm-hmm. new band, right? Maddie. Um, yeah. And then seven, the last one was... No Redeeming, right? Yep. No Redeeming Value and Thug Riot from Arizona, right? So no, we've, no. Been, we've been trying to do East Coast, West Coast thing. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> right? Yeah, and, and, no, yeah, you know. no that, 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 that's, that's done. And on, the, on those projects, what, every band did one song? Yeah, just one song per band. It's, it's, a, it's usually an exclusive song, right? Um, and then uh, that's it. You, you know, get the vinyl. And a lot of people hit me up. So, yo, I don't have a record player. It's like, yo, it comes with a digital download. So if you buy the vinyl, you can actually, you know, it comes with a download so you can hear it on your computer, you know? That's dope. Not, obviously, not a lot of people, not everyone owns vinyl players, uh, record players, you know what I mean? So, right, I, I collect vinyl, but I don't listen to it. I just collect, you know. Yeah, the, I got to start. I wish I collected everything I had. A lot of it got <clears throat> fucked up in a flood I had back in Queens. Oh, yeah. I, lo- I lost everything. I, I had to start over, right? All so, my old pictures from the first yeah. tours I did, God. Uh, Made, oh, me too, man. God, yeah. All those years of touring, all those fucking things. I had like, I had these tour books, posters signed by you know fucking everyone. Black Sabbath, all, oh, so, dude, all of it. Yeah, all you know, let me ask That's you guys this. Store, right? yeah, yeah, let me ask you Thank guys you. this because I just noticed. This. So I know each one of you toured with Madball and Hayes and some, but with yes. Madball, right? Each one of you toured with Madball for. Did we tour at any time together? Because I know you guys a lot were were singles. You know what I mean? Like when LD came, it was LD and maybe LD and Horace or somebody. There was different combos. Were you? Uh, was there a combo of you guys together at once on tour with us? No, I don't, no, think, I don't so. think so. I, I think so. If anything, was the think, weekend think, shows. That's think, it. Yeah, that don't count, kind yeah, of. That's yeah. Fre- hang out. I think Fre- Freddie had a, a one Chinese guy limit, right? Yeah, so. it was a one Chinese guy. <laughs> <laughs> Too much and, then, and then you know, then when my brother came along, he took he filled up the limit, right? So oh yeah, he always did it. Yeah, no, I remember, I remember the, uh, in the Europe Europe tour I did. That was with Royce didn't even go. That was with uh, uh, you know Eric was tour managing, and that was, uh, that yeah, was but Eric, Royce was managing still, right? He was still managing. Yeah, that's that which time. okay. Hold on, yeah. So that yeah, that had to be that time. That was what 98, 98, seven. 98, 99, that was when, uh, that was when, uh, George, uh, not George, uh, Eddie rolled up and we, we seen him rollerblading around. He went home with a family. Some family took yo, him in. Yo, in. that's crazy. Insane. So, yeah. So, all right, LD, you came, you did just that one Europe tour with us or how, how many? Then, then I've done a couple of US, like 10 day runs and then yeah. I Canada. Yeah. So then that, okay. So. Before that, so it was Narc, LD, Warren then, right? Yep. Narc I did like 95, 90, I, yeah. Early, yo, Hoy, you, Hoy, you got to remember, days. I didn't do a lot of tours with you guys. My yeah, brother did tours, all the tours. Yeah, yeah. But I, did, I did like short runs like with you runs, guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. But I mean, you, so, did, you know what it was? You did the Hazen Street. That's why I get confused with yeah. it. I did all the ha- I did yeah. most of the Hazen Street, right? Yeah. I missed I missed the Warp Tour stuff, right? That's when I left to go do Slayer. So, yo, I remember I remember the the, the Europe run I was on was uh, yeah, I remember my way being like thirteen, my thirteenth European tour or something like that. Yeah, it's a thirteen right yeah. now. How many yeah. you got to be at now? Just put it like this. I do I, again, everybody. I got my GED, so. And, and I got Chinese guys here, so you guys could take out the abacus and help me out. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the abacus. All right. We average Europe about three times a year. Average. We've been, I've been going there for 26 years. Crazy. What does that go? You're like around oh. 80, 80 something. Some shit like that. And that's not counting the couple of the times I went just to chill, but let's say yo, just to tour. So, <laughs> yo, my, I were, remember, I remember, remember that apartment I had in the city, Hoya, Narc, right? We were yep. sitting that thing. Remember, we watched those Pantera home videos? Yeah. And I'd be watching it. I'd be like, yo. And I would look at you, Hoya. You'd be like, yo, it ain't like that for us, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no fucking arenas in like, yeah, like, like, yo, like, yo, it ain't like that for us. Because remember, I was about to go on my first uh, European tour. Remember? Yeah, he's like, yo, it's on, hey, oh, guys, yo, is, like, it, is it like, like this and you were you were like yo 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 it's not that you know well, no. <laughs> I got to see the early no. days of the European tours that was yeah. the rough ones yeah but they you, were good they were good man they were freaking <laughs> they give yes. real character exactly yo, when, 
Gus went to Japan with you guys, and then he went to Europe with us on that one. He thought it was going to be like Japan. Remember, you got oh yeah, the reality check. He got the flu. He was sitting on the bus with a, with a towel over his head. The, <laughs> yeah, the best flu, story is to <laughs> oh, well, don't don't you touch it. So you know he, he's used to. He does. You know he did a biohazard tour that he was touring with us for years, and then <laughs> AF. So they they tell him, yo, they're gonna bring him to America. So he psyched his first time coming into America. Oh, Martin? So like, yo, hoy, yo, I can't, I'm coming. Yo, so where does the bus pick me up? I go, yeah, bus. bus. What do you mean a bus? It's a bus. <laughs> a bus. You going in a you van. You got you up. Van. Man, motherfucker. Go, what are you talking about, that bus? That fantasy in this world. Yeah. And he was bus. like, oh, oh I didn't bus. forget that. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, uh, the best was on the bus. Remember in uh, on the Hazel Street tour? So we had a bus, man. It was me, you, my brother, Martin. Martin. We were back there blazing, looking at each other. How did this happen, man? We were like, yo, we were like, yo epic. This ain't even up. someone else's <laughs> bus. <laughs> this is your bus. What the fuck? How did this happen? You know, I was like, fuck that. I remember, like, you know, Warren's like, we made it. We, we <laughs> said what we wanted to do. We go on tour. With the whole road crew was all us. Yeah, <laughs> you know, top of the world, man. Nah. Text. Everybody was all us. Yeah, it was all it was all family on one bus together. It was a fucking dude. That was the most fun. I like, know, was, so crazy. So oh crazy. man, a little yeah, uh, that was fantasy hour. Like, that was. Uh, I remember going. Uh, I I got married at the time. I went on my honeymoon. I came back, and then you guys played um, Starland Ballroom in Jersey with uh, Pod. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We were oh, yeah. P O Yeah, the P.O.D. Lacroix. Yeah, I mean, fuck that. Oh, I remember, yeah, too. That's right. The first, the first tour, the first day of that story of the year, first show you guys. Orlando. How oh, my moves. God. The motherfuckers walked on stage, and every girl was just like, ah! And I was like, like yo, like, what, get the what the fuck is happening right we now, like, man? You know, we're thinking, oh, they probably think, oh, our father snuck in here. Yo, yeah, that's true. That I never seen shit like that on that tour. I remember being like, yo, this is fucking crazy, man. Like, yeah, it was, you know, it's definitely a weird, you know, like. It's it just was, a different world, man. It was what we're different world, what we're used to. That's you all. You know, this is why I believe in God and karma. Because God gave us a gift, but he gave it to us like this. He's like, you know, I wanted like 500 Sofia Vergara's yelling. <laughs> Instead, 513 years old. He's like, get out of here. <laughs> uh, another horrible. cute little girl but I'm like I hey, want whatever Sophia. listen they, they bought a shirt they bought a record I, I want I want a charro oh, charro uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo we there was one time I remember in like in in it was probably 2000 2001 you guys you guys left on a run to Europe and me and Boston Mike were like this close to buying we were gonna pull an Eddie and just roll up and find out and land some yeah. in the middle of the tour and and Make our way to the to the wherever you guys were, and we we never ended up doing it. Obviously, yeah, we just because I seen recently, you know, pictures that popped up with with Narc from us when we did Greece, and obviously the Dynamo whole run. Narc, oh was, yeah, Narc was there in the early yeah. days, right? Yeah, the but then I seen pictures pop up with LD that we seen and recently I blasted with like Billy Biohazard and somebody else. We were somewhere in Europe. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That was that was the Europe. Room. Yeah, that was on um, the look my way run with Lafada. I had Lafada on here the other day too. That was I heard, classic. <laughs> I heard <laughs> some of funny. it. I gotta hear the rest. I, I I heard some of it. I gotta get back to finishing it. Oh yeah, he's funny. You know how that <laughs> goes. That was the yeah, fucking yeah. thing and the fucking but yeah, he's chilling, he's doing that. I'm glad he's you know, I'm glad guys are are everybody's doing a Tyson and Roy Jones. They they're doing their comebacks. <laughs> yeah, he's playing. He's he's got like I'm sure you guys talked about it, but he's got like you know he's having fun. He's got a, a yeah. jam spot, and they just they go there and they just play, drink beers, hang out. I never, you know, I Madball was never. We had jam spot in the early days, and then for you know the, the music building, right? Yeah, yeah, dude. That that remember hard. we saw the dude get. Remember we, when the dude got shot? Yeah, and that over and the yeah. Manhattan music building. Yeah, yep. remember we were like, oh man, they got shot right by G's car. We're like, man, how we're gonna get home? That was right under Henzo's. Remember, it was yeah. right. Under you know what happened is, um, um, I never, you know, Mabo wasn't a rehearsal band, but yeah. I something I wish I had now. Not just because of oh, COVID, yeah. but like jam room, the jam room to jam with the band. Like, you know, it, it, you do. I mean, we've been playing these songs long enough. Not that we don't know them. Yeah, but, but still, you, you it's know. good to get in there and just. You know, it's like when you DJ and you play your music. You play those records yeah. before, but you want to play them. Again, yeah, you, know? yeah. you don't yeah. always want to play them on on stage either, right? Yeah. It's good to play them in rehearsals, you know what I mean? Yeah, jam, you know, jam into them, right? Yeah. So yeah, 
it's it's fucking crazy this whole shit and fucking um and what's up with New York right now? Another lockdown right now, right? Uh, let's see, maybe. I don't know. You know, know yeah. after after cool. Thanksgiving, you know, after Thanksgiving weekend, let's see what they come out with tomorrow, Monday. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. To listen, listen. They they drop all the good news on Friday, and then Monday is when they drop all the bad news. So if you, you know <laughs> what I mean. That's how that's how it works. If you didn't see the pattern yet, right? And, and hey. LD, in North Kakalaka, what's the deal over there? It's uh, it's, it's white down there. You know, things. I, but it's, it's white. It's, 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 <laughs> the more it's white down there. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's pretty white over here. The more the more that other states start shutting down, they're, it's they're just gonna follow suit. Same reaction, yeah. But so, I mean, how LD is it like you know people got masks and shit on? It's not ignorant, right? No, nah, no. Nah, well, it depends. I mean, you know, some you got some people. I mean, the thing is, everything's masks. spread out down there anyway, yeah. so everybody's you know driving and it, it's, it's not weird, like New York. Man. Like yeah. yo, know, where I live, there's like there's you could there's not a lot of masks. People just they don't you know they're not wearing masks. I don't know. And then uh, but you go in the city, you know, and it's fucking people are masked up everywhere. So. Yeah, know. it's kind of just hit or miss, right? So it depends, you know. Everybody's yeah. got a thought on it, you know. So, so some people. How's wearing- how, how's how's Miami, Hoyer? Yeah, my, I swear it feels like the way it's been the last eight months. The same, it's just and like not, to me, nothing's changed. But I don't go out a lot. But I know, yeah. like at one point, you know, the restaurants where you could eat outside or half half capacity. Yeah, and yeah. I think it still is. And you go shopping, you got to wear a mask. I mean, yeah. it's like. You go anywhere indoors, you should just put on a fucking mask. But to man, me, whatever. nothing has changed in eight months. Nothing. That's the good part down by you, though. It's like it's, you know, even throughout the winter, it doesn't get too cold. So you could go and eat outside or hang out outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Your ass off, you know? Yeah, so. well, New, New York, they, so they, they were saying, they were like, <laughs> Yo, no, no indoor dining, but you could do outdoor dining. I mean, right now, it's actually the weather's not actually that bad. But I mean, dude, in another couple weeks, like, you know, yeah, outdoor dining is going to be pretty You know, useful. when I saw some restaurant in New York, Doing those things for the beaches, those yeah, little pods. pods. Yeah, that's the only yeah. way to do it. Now you can't stupid, have straight. I mean, but I, I mean, hey, whatever it is. It is I'm it jump in a pod real quick. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and everything's uh, everything you have to wait, and, and everything's reserved, right? You have to make reservations. You can't pop up anymore, right? Everyone, everything. That's how it made, is. If, if uh, everything, the museums, uh, re- most like you know, like those pods or whatever, you can't just walk up. Maybe you get lucky, but yo, you, you look online, all that shit is you got to reserve it. Well, I think if you, yeah, if you go during prime time, you know, I think it's going to be all reserved and everything's locked down. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Like, Warren, we went out, you know, to a city not too long ago and it took, you know, we were lucky enough to get a, get a seat somewhere. Oh, yeah. And then right at, as soon as we sat down, we yo, walked by though, right? Exactly. It was packed, crazy, or people waiting, you know, but whatever. I mean, look, at the end of the day, it is what it is, and yeah, you know, I'm gonna do my thing, and that's it, you know. Yeah, I'm waiting for this fucking to be able to move around more, you know. I'm like, yeah, like you know, I, I know you can fly, and you're not sure what getting you know, quarantine and this and that, and you know, you never know because you know, I want to make it to New York, I want to go to New York for a couple reasons, you know, go visit, you know, and also I want to get into the studio with stress up in Pennsylvania yeah. to, for, for yeah. the. To record some of the new yeah. shit, my, my new mm-hmm. shit. So I want to be able to at least do that without yeah. fucking having to Actually, worry. actually, no. PA is on lockdown right now. I think they shut down all the gyms. Yeah. Um, till next year, you know, Great. where they were open this whole time. They just recently just shut down. Stress so. does all, all the uh, all the stuff for the for the uh, the pitchfork music too, right? So the you know he does all the the mastering for all the uh, vinyl stuff. Who does it? Yeah, shout out to Stress. Stress, yeah. oh, shout Stress. out to Stress. I, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, he did. yeah, yeah, he did. He did all. He does all that stuff. Yeah, right? I Bus- get, yeah. Busky does. Busky does the ads. St- Narts brother Steve does all the the, the artwork, right? Yeah. So it's all in house. It's all in you know family, right? It's family yeah, yeah. Business. It wasn't um and um. What's the la- the la- the last shit you just dropped? So the latest shit is the collab that we just dropped. So everybody out there go get that shit. Um, fucking um, that's the last shit you put out. And what else you just put out? The uh, 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 a jacket or something, right? The rain jacket. We had the the yeah. windbreaker. That's still that's still uh, available. Yeah, we got yeah, some, think, some love. We yeah, we, we got did that embroidery uh, hat that came out. The the yeah. hat came out. Yep. Couple new hoodies. Yep. Yeah, hoodies. Yeah, now's the time I tell everybody, you know, now's your excuse to spend money. I said, you know, it's, it's the holidays, you know, not, and now the fucking supporting with the merch shit goes even farther. Now it really fucking, you know, 
it's, it's really supporting people. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what yeah. I tell them. Like, oh. Exactly. Exactly. Especially the collab stuff. You know what I mean? Goes, it's just. It's, yeah, and it's a given. With the, you see it's a collab. that collab, you know, one, because it's cool, but two, like, everybody's feeling it. And, you know, I'd rather do that than fucking say, just give me money for, you know, because, oh, I think I'm somebody special. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> don't go fund me shit unless it was for something real. You know, yeah. I believe somebody's passing away or somebody's living on the street. We gotta get busy, but oh, so, yo, speaking of GoFundMe's, everyone go visit uh, Uzi's. Uzi's GoFundMe, right? He's yeah, he's everybody go with yeah. That's but, right, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Crazy. Definitely, we have a uh, one of our, our brothers in Japan, Uzi. Aggressive dogs. Chance of battle, so you'll see us all rocking the ads. Don't mind the dogs in the background. But speaking of aggressive dogs, yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> but um, we you'll see it uh, online. You'll see it on um. All social media, if you could donate, donate. He's fighting cancer as a motherfucker and has been he's killing fighting, motherfuckers. He, he's fighting like an aggressive form of lung cancer, too. It's no, it's no joke, right? So Yeah, that shit is no joke. Yeah. You know, all that shit. That's why I'm eating my leafy greens to fight that shit. <laughs> yeah. That oatmeal you had, you, the, what do you, the, the oatmeal breakfast you're having the other day. Yeah, now I eat straight up like an old man. I don't, you <laughs> know, I don't eat no more for taste. I eat on it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's, yo, it's just fuel for the body, bro. Exactly. That's, That's what I do. I'm saying I'm waiting for the abs to come out for the swimsuit issue, the 2021 swimsuit issue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we always got Steve to do tattoos, uh, tattoo yeah, abs. He's gonna highlight. He's gonna highlight. <laughs> he's gonna do some shading. I mean. <laughs> I saw Steve did something the other day that he posted up. Like he did some kind of armor on some dude, and it had yeah. Whole, oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the six pack, yeah. I saw yeah. That too, oh, he did. Uh, he did uh, yeah. some ab work. That's, that's a yeah. good idea. That's you know what? Yeah. I think that's a good idea, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tat- get some uh, abs tattooed. I'm not man. trying to get tattooed, man. That shit hurts too much. <laughs> I, I know. You know, because I, I didn't go up in May this year. I didn't do my annual trip to Steve, and it, and it's oh, it's gonna hurt even more oh, next. I'm missing the pain. He's gonna stick out the needle two inches deeper. Yeah, in the next one right into my bone. And he's gonna dig harder and harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. LD, <laughs> you're gonna LD, you're gonna get the logo, right? Teardrop logo. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll go over good. Time, who, who got yeah, tattooed? Of all you guys, Warren. Last time you got tattooed, how long ago? Do you remember? Ah uh, man, it was probably this, and that was like fuck about a year ago, man. About, about a year, a year ago. ago? Yeah. Mark. I don't know. Probably like two years ago, I think. Two years ago, LD, yeah. you? It was, it was black and blue the last one, so about a year and a half ago. Ah, damn, yeah, that was the last time I got, I got. Yeah, that shit ain't no fun no more. A couple of years, <laughs> I don't remember, fuck, yeah, that shit. I, I gotta go, though, I, 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 I got a fucking bunch of shit I gotta do, so I gotta, I gotta go, so. I'm I know, I got spots I gotta, I wanna get filled yeah, in, but I'm like, there's do. also spots that I don't need to get filled in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, but you know what? I guarantee you fill the spots that need to get filled in. You're going to eventually want to fill in those other spots too, right? I so. know, I know. You know. How that <laughs> <is>. <laughs> but I, I am actually, I was itching recently. I was thinking about it. I got it. Uh, hey, but you, you got a guy down there, right? Yeah, yeah. The guys down here are awesome too. So it's, it's just I haven't, I haven't. Who's by you? Skinny Skins. by you? Yeah, Skinny, Skinny and Chris Stewart. Yeah, Skinny's all you. I'm waiting to go to Skinny. That's what I need him to do fucking. I've been waiting to go to him. I just a matter of whenever I could travel. I want to go fucking. I definitely got to see him. Yeah, their their shops like twenty minutes from my house. So oh, they're... that's near. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah right. You should have your head tattooed by then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you could get a better oh, yeah. guy's face on your on top of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Those glasses he's wearing aren't really there. Those are yeah, uh, they're uh, tattooed. Three D yeah. tattoo. <laughs> The yeah, this way I don't ever have to wear them. If I guess yeah, exactly. them for the time I got them on. They're 2D. They're 2D. 2D. <laughs> uh, okay, let me ask you this real quick before anything on, on the whole merchandise tip. Because there's, there's a lot of young bucks that listen to this and they were asking for the mer- merch in, info, whatever. What advice would you give new people to the merch game about the what, what's give me one pro and one con to, to, to the merch game? That you find like so something you like and something you hate that you got to deal with, with or, 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 or just being a merch company. You've been doing it long enough. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, when you catch things, which one thing you you like about it and one thing you hate about it. When you when you when you start to 
to catch on, you got to really make the most of it. Cause I don't think it's, it's hard to keep it, you know, it's hard to keep momentum going. So once you get, once you catch on, just keep, take it, take everything for what you can at that time. Cause it's like, one thing I regret was we never did any of those conventions, you know, like magic magic was big. Like when we first started coming out, yeah. then there was another one that came along after that agenda, I think it was called. And we, we never invested the, the time or money to go there. Instead, we were spending. Uh, you know what, though? That we tried. Huh? Yeah, but we, we, we looked into it, but it was like, uh, dude, I don't know. We, tr- we tried getting up. We thought about getting a booth one year, remember? But it yeah. was like, dude, that. The yeah, they had hired like out. a union, union shop to build the booth. It was yeah, a, fuck. It was yeah. a process, exactly. Yeah. But, yeah, then, you know, that's, you know, not to cut you off, LD, but right. You're, you're right. You know, at the end of the day, it's like you got to, once you jump on that ride, you got to keep active because at the end of the day, there's a million companies out there. Yeah. You know, there's a million brands. You know, yeah, I agree. You know? It's like with the fucking, what, with the band, with the podcast, or whatever. There's somebody else, somebody new. That's why, you know, my whole concept is trying to keep a new item, a new angle every time to just keep shit different from everybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, same but different. You know, people are doing caps, I'll do a short. People do a short, I try to do a cap. You know what I mean? It's all going to you know, it's like, or like something, I try to add something. I do, you know, I go in on my packaging. I try to give it a fucking, you know, something extra to just, to, you know, to, 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 to start that, to keep that shit lit, you know, whatever we, little spark. We, we did all that stuff and then we kind of got rid of it, right? Because it was like at that point, you know, it was... uh it's kind of pointless to have all that, right? L- LD and well, that was when we when we were doing all our own shipping. That's when yeah. we had, you know, the postcards or stickers, and we you know we had it you special know, pack because we could actually we were, well, we were doing it ourselves. That's why you know yeah. what I mean. So outside yeah. of the cigarette smoke, it was it was yeah a, exactly. They also came with cigarette buds and cigarette smoke. <laughs> yeah, but that that I mean that's true. Like you said, your your stuff looks good. It's come with, with the stickers and everything. Like I like that. That's yeah. yeah I try I, I try to do all that. You know, it all goes into what how, however I sell them. So I'm but I I'm like yo I I could make a profit and still yo I could do this that nobody does and that I yeah. like. And that would we, we, we'll stick it out if it's like the hang tag sticker. I said, I want to yeah. do a sticker to give. All right, well, where could I do without just throwing a sticker in a bag? Yo, the yeah. hang tag. Fuck, let's find hang tag stickers. Then we, you know, it becomes a cool angle. And I think it steps up the look right off the top. You know, you put a hang tag on anything, it looks like, oh shit. Yeah, you know? no, it looks, it gives a value, you know? Yeah, you know, at least, you know, everybody, and that's why I tell everybody, it's like, it's everybody's, uh, there's enough for everybody, but everybody's selling. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, everybody's selling. Now what you do? Everybody got a hat? Okay, now what What, what do you do to make that hat different? If it ain't the, the style of hat, is how you sell the hat. If it's the packaging of the hat or the colors of the hat. You know what I mean? Or what comes with the hat? What does the hat do? You know, like I got those <laughs> new hoodies. Get you know, the, the propeller. Get yeah, the, the new hoodies. I got, I got shit coming to you guys. We had to wait for it, but the zip-ups, but... The other hoodies I got with the built-in, the tailgate hoodies, they got a koozie built in. That's dope. <laughs> it's the best, the That's dope crazy. hoodie. And it's dope. the best idea to put, you know, you can use it for a little pouch for something, but you can have your beard. LD, that's you. That's yo, that is crazy. Yeah. I never even heard that before. And I yo, saw that. I was like, yo, that's yeah, like. And it's so dope see? because it's a good quality hoodie on yeah. top of that. And I'm yeah. like, this is the greatest idea. And then finally is the ones I started doing. Like, I, we, we got it, and I was like, I didn't want to sell hoodies because they weigh so much, and they take up a lot of space. But then I was like, it's hoodie season, and I'm like, I like, I, you know, it's a good angle. Yeah. I know what the yeah so you got, LD, you got the collab put your- decks coming out with them, too, right? The what? With the skate decks with them? Yeah, I got that right now. We're waiting for them to come in. You know, MQ, I had them do the NYHC. And yeah. Said, you know, we made, a, like, 20 only, you know, like a sh- small amount. And those are dope because I'm, I got a spot. I'm waiting for mine to, to hang up. Those are like. That came out really good, yeah. Yeah, those came That's out really good. And we made it look, one, if you want to ride it, you can ride it. But it looks almost better to hang it up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, um, there you go. Like, exactly those. Yeah, and I'm like, what's dope about the boards that I wanted to start doing with, I might do it on the next run, is <clears throat> I'm going to sell them with little, um, um, you know, hooks that you, you kind of like, 
you know, this is the board. You kind of slip in the hooks. Because yeah. you have the board, you can put it for your keychains or hats by your door. You know, you can hang your chain. You know how like a... Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, holders. yeah. And I seen it for merch. Somebody had the clips, with the clamps for merch for hats. I said, I'm going to put those clamps on the deck. You, you hang the deck up, you can hang yep. your keys up or your hat on it. You know what I mean? Yo, I just cool. thought of a sick idea. We could do a collab. It would be pitchfork hooks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got your pitchfork hooks. There you go. <laughs> no, but then I'll look like a, like a chicken foot. <laughs> I had a I had a mad ball deck a from duck neck back at the uh, back when you know Royce was managing. I remember that one. I had it and I kept it nice, and then I, I maybe two years ago I put some trucks and wheels on it. And I use it now. Oh uh, yeah, you got the oh, maps. Yeah. That, I got two of them. That that one, and then I got one with trucks and wheels on them. So. You motherfuckers want to break your hips really bad. <laughs> Yo, I, I got, I take my son skating all the time. Like, do Yo, LD, you wear pads, knee pads? And no. <laughs> nah, my son yeah. Nico does. What, you know, when, they, when the pandemic first hit, they shut all the basketball courts down. So, like, they put, they put locks on the nets so kids couldn't play. So, we would take the skateboards there nice and smooth and just go yeah. around the basketball courts. We did it for months. And then when they opened shit back up, you know, people started playing basketball again. But, it was it was fun. Like that kind of stuff was fun. You it's know? crazy. For months you did it, though. Months. Yeah. That's how long this shit's been. Like same thing with me. I'm like, you know, um, um, you know, during this whole shit, I started working out more. I was already started before, but like hitting it hard. And then I'm like, so now, like, uh, uh, let's say I do, you know, I'm either doing heavy bag work or I ride the bike. I go out. So let me ride my bike in my area for a half hour, whatever, forty five minutes. And I'm literally riding the same trail for months. Yeah. Saying, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I do this shit every day. It's like, this shit is so fucking played out. It's like, not like, yo, I've been doing it for weeks. It's like months. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Same here. Same here, man. You know, I found a freaking route that I do every day, and that's the only way I keep freaking sane, you know? You're but crazy. You, I know you run that. How you like 10 yeah. miles a day. I know, guy. but you know what's crazy? It's like, you know, you, you don't you, run, he glides. Yeah, <laughs> I glide. <laughs> yo, I got the rollerblades. Nah, yeah. I got freaking, uh, you know, you run, at the end of the day, you got to always run back, you know? You got to come back home, you know? So some days you Take feel it, that's good. What the, yo, that's what the Uber's for, bro. You run yeah, there. Yeah. How whack is that? Yo, you go for a run, you come back in Uber. <laughs> <laughs> yo, is, you, is, is, is your, your Eating sushi. boxing spot back open? Yeah, yeah. It's open again. So, you know, I'm just but keep trying to keep where the, Tell everyone busy. where that is. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, yeah. Shout out Seaton uh, Gym. It's, it's in Astoria. Check go it sign out. Sign up. Oh, it's oh, it's yeah. it's back open. So go. You know, everyone go sign up, right? Yeah, it's dope. It's dope. What's uh, what's the what's the rules in there like for you guys? What, what? Same thing. You know, everything is just like like a, a lot of gyms are doing pretty much the same thing. Is you Yo, know, no, you're no, poking it. No you're eye poking. poking. No, no eye poking. No, no nut shots. XC, you got to be masked up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to be masked up. You got to make an appointment. Um, re you got to reserve your freaking spot. It's, basically. it's limited, right? It's it's limited. Yeah, you know. So it's uh. I mean, hey, like I said, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's good. You know, I mean, you do what you got to do. You know, you got to stay afloat. You got to think about it. A lot of businesses have been shut down since. A lot. Before. That's the scary fucking part you that. You got to kind of, you know, you got to roll with the punches right now, you know. Like, and, that's another thing in our world that, you know, it's it's a small world as it is. And it's like, yo, part of the, the, this world is the clubs. And a lot of these clubs are going to get shut down. They're going to be to survive another open, shutdown. They yeah. half of them ain't gonna survive the first. DIY. You wanna support the show? Go cop some merch right now. We got a lot of new t shirts, shorts, and caps available. Welcome, Everything welcome. is made in house by your boy on the spot. So show some love, support the movement. Casa the Rock dot com is. Yep, I mean, exactly. even, even if you know, it's uh, it's crazy. Those guys, it, you know, there's a lot of uh, venues that hopefully, man, that, that are not gonna make it. That sucks. No, that they're sucks. not. You know, you think about, the, you know, if they're not getting the rent deal, you know, think about all the have places. Bigger bands, you know, and then and then the bigger bands, uh, the, all the big big venues are going to be, um, they ain't enough of them to cater to the people that are going to be wanting a tour. So you're gonna have some bigger bands doing more dates in smaller places, which is gonna take the work away from the smaller bands. Well, also you, you gotta, gotta remember that. Yep. So exactly. Like, a hardcore band is gonna be the last people allowed to get in any club. Well, you know what? I think also, too, it's like it's going to be like Mad Ball and then you're headlining and maybe one other band. 
I don't think you're, you're not going to have no five band, six band bills, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's you know, that's kind of all right than not having a 20 man bill. <laughs> oh, yeah, on a, on an operating side, it's, yeah, it's great. I know, you know? I know you but mean, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you you're got, not going to go through that process, you know? You got to I mean? also remember, too, let's say if shit opens up in September, fucking every fucking band is going to be on tour at the same fucking time out there. I know. Right? Yeah. Think about oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Think, oh, you know, yeah. So, that's you know what I mean. When it rains, it fucking pours, man. It went, you know, it's gonna go. That industry, it's it's as soon as shit opens up, the industry's gonna go from zero to fucking ninety. You know what and I mean? It'd probably take a while for that to kind of sort itself out. I would imagine. Yeah, it has to. You know, you got to figure out the new guidelines, new things, and how countries are gonna take well, their gonna be that, their guidelines. That's got to be a, a a team effort. It can't just be up to the bands. It's got to be up to the venues. It's got to be up to people too, right? It's gonna people, be crazy because you know, now also Adrian. bands to tour. Are you gonna need a vaccine to go in a certain fucking, you know, countries? Are they gonna ask? Are they how they're gonna check? The, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fuck. Yeah, so you know, like the other day on the news, I heard Qantas Airlines uh, was gonna require people who was gonna fly their airline to be vaccinated. Yeah, and that vaccine comes out. You know, yeah. so. And I think Australia is just starting to open it up again. But yeah, at the end of the day, you know, it's the like Australia got people no matter nobody got nothing over there though. They they they're, they're yeah. like one of the one of the most normal places on earth, I think. Yep. Because they were locked down, they freaking locked down, you know. Yeah, it, it, it also doesn't have the same amount of people as the rest of the. You know what I mean? Yep. There's a big country with you know with a you know with a with not as many people on. You know what I mean? It's like, but still, they're they're like normal. I'm like, yeah. fuck, how, what the hell's going to happen with us? Yeah, New Zealand, you know, too, I think. It's going to take a while, you know. Uh, everybody's got to be acclimated, you know. You don't hear, like, one state doing concerts. It's, you got to wait yeah. for the whole freaking 52 states, you know. I play, I don't give a fuck. I'll play a parking lot, which we, we know we've exactly. done anytime. But I, I don't give a fuck where we play anymore. Hey. Warp you know, tour, I, man, play parking lots. I just ain't trying to do no virtual bullshit, you know. That shit is just like, you know, all the quarantine jams, that's cool. It's cute. Yeah, but it's ain't the same. It's not the same, like, you know. I'm like, yeah, it's not the same. I'm like, I hear you. You giving them to something. I'm like, all right, no, nah. It's like, you know, this is some type of music. You, you're either rehearsing in your rehearsal spot, or you know, you need people to feel it. Even if it's three people there, it gotta be in front of some a human. There's I also spot, think so. I think there's production companies that are like legit, like planning, like they're they're setting up shops to do that. For who you know, for however long, just run and sh- live stream. Crazy. crazy. I forgot who. Yeah. Uh, how, do think you, Island, how do you think? How do you think UFC is doing it? There is one in Long Island. They're, they're uh, having a venue. They're they're putting uh, together a venue. To- and that's all it's for. It's just going to be live streaming. I think for forever. That's the intent to keep it rolling. You know, even when shit does open up again. But you know, that's great for some type of music. Hardcore music is going to be. Well, that's what I was going to say. You know, because you figure that. Like, that, that you know, you that see on video because you can't go to a show. That's why you watch a hardcore show on the video. Just because, like, oh, I'm, I'm not at a show. Let me flash back. But you don't just do that for rent. You know, it's because, or you're yeah. getting ready and foot because you're going to go see a show. You're like, let me go check out this old show. You know, it's, it's a music that we, you have to watch live. You yeah. know? Like metal. Metal, same shit. It's like, yeah, you know, it's better live. Like, you know, anything. Hell, hell, yeah, tense. hell yeah. And you know what? At the end of the day, you can't watch a show in your car, you know, like that's cool. You could do shows, you know, like the driving shows, but that's not hardcore. That's not metal. You know what I mean? Like, it's horrible. Like, yeah. I don't, wanna, you know, I think, you know, they're going to do like that. Like, you saw a couple of open air festivals where everybody gets a square, like yeah. a little, <laughs> a, like See a little drawing. VIP yeah. area. Like, I don't, I mean, if you have listen. to, I'll do it to, to, to hold it over. Yeah, but you know, li- listen, do you, do you realize how unrealistic that is? Do you, do you, do you realize the amount of labor? That it's gonna cost to set well, up. Well, you a worry about that because you're part of the tech, the tech crew. So <laughs> I'm, part of, I'm, part I'm just of saying. I'm just saying from the production end, it's like yeah, that's you. Know, I'm just... an entertainer, so for me, I just gotta watch TV. Yo, I saw a show. I forgot who it was. I don't remember who the band was, but they actually had bubbles. They had. Yeah, like, I'm Weezer or one of these bands. I think. <laughs> Doubles? What do you mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Bubbles. like Yo, they were yeah, actually the crowd. They had a live crowd, and they, everybody was in their own plastic bubble. Oh, bubbles! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I can see that. That's not bad. Yeah. But we, we're gonna do one. But everybody gotta wear the sumo one. That's, <laughs> <bubble> <laughs> suit. That's hard. How hard is that? 
And fucking um, but yes, yeah, so, so everybody in Pitchfork is working. And nobody's working except LD. So LD yeah. got LD it's got a white guy. Hey, well, hold on. I'm 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 working, but I'm not making money, right? So yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and fuck, back. Sweat but back. um, and so okay, so the the that what's next for Pitchfork right now? Besides the the, the collab, we got a Casa the Rock Pitchfork collab that's out now. Besides that, what's the next move for you guys? Something going to drop this year or starting next year? Or what's the next idea? Well, what's the next plan moving on forward to 2021? So I think oh, Warren's fuck. been working on the, the next music release, right? So that, yeah. that I've been working on the next two uh, music releases. Can you so say who it is or no? Uh, not yet. Can't not say yet. That. So all right, yeah. Metallica and Megadeth collab. And yep. then the other one? I'll get it. I'm going to get Sl Slayer to reunite and uh, yeah. do one song for me, right? So, so, yeah. so you're you working on two more music projects, and, and what's the plan? It dropped at what, 2021? or what? Yeah, next year. Ne all that stuff's next year. Next year. We've got some coffee coming out soon. Which yeah. yeah. Oh, Oak and Crow coffee. Oak and Crow. Yep, let them know. When's that coffee coming out? Uh, they, we just had the labels done for the packaging, so probably sometime this month. I'm thinking. We'll see. And, and hopefully, hopefully in time roast. for Christmas. Hopefully in time yeah. for Christmas. So order that yeah. dark roast. So okay. So right now, yeah, before Pitchfork we get out of here, everybody, they could get all your shit at it's, it's Pitchfork NYC or NY dot com. What is it? NY. Just Pitchfork NY dot com. Yeah. And right now, they could go get that collab shirt there. And they're going to be able to buy the coffee where again? Let them know. I know Oak and Crow, but let them know. Oakandcrow.com. And, and then to catch Warren, you could go on grinder.com. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got rid of that profile, bro. I got rid of that one. But yeah, but no. But yo, good shit. I'm glad, man. I'm hoping to make it up to New York. I'm, I'm going to make it North Cacalac. I need to get tattooed by Skinny. And fucking, um, we're dropping this shit this, this Thursday. Oh, all right, cool. Guys. Yo, cool. did, did, did Nark tell you he's opening up his own Taibo uh, Taibo school? No, no, is he? <laughs> Taibo. <laughs> no, he's 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 really blank Yo, it's gonna be Taibo, Taibo but you gotta wear a jujitsu outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you haven't been training, right? Um, LD, right? No, I have. I went back uh, like July. How you feel? It's uh, it's good. I mean, you know, once you get in and get and get We're going, good. I'm, I'm kind of going on certain days with, um, you know, guys I I know better. I'll go to a different, you know, certain classes where it's not as many uh, like newer guys coming in that I don't know. You know, I mean, it's not, you know, still uh, to some degree a risk, right? But the guys that I'm rolling with are mostly dudes like me. They're just married at home, you know, working from home. They're not out, you know, hanging out all, all over the place. So do, do you guys uh, roll with masks? No, right? No, no. Uh, oh, yeah. Then the red, right. you see, North Kakalaka is half red, half blue. You know, you don't know. Uh, you know the, well, the, the know. governor here is blue. So like uh, they're, they're going to shut, uh, they're they're gonna shut that down real quick. Yeah. So, all right, you can catch LD and LD you're on Instagram and what else, right? You're on Facebook. Yeah, oh, just, pitchfork. Instagram, just the Pitchfork NY at Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Same handle on all three. Yep. Nark, where you at? Yeah. Where, where same thing, catch pitchfork. You at? pitchfork. Pitchfork. Yep. Warren. I'm, Warren, uh, I got all kinds of shit, right? You well, catch hit, me up, hit everybody with everybody. Uh, hit, find me on Let Instagram. Let them know again one more time who you're working for now with the straps. Yeah. All right, anybody so out there wants to get. Richter Straps, www.richterstraps.com. Go check it out. They got all kinds of fucking cool shit. Vegan options. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Toby. Thick ones. Even blood uh, clock. Uh, fucking yeah, rock. exactly. No, exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let them know who work, who, who, who's down with that company. Give them some bands, some hard hitters. Oh, uh, dude, they got um, uh, Gary Holt has a signature strap with them. Got it. Uh, Slay and Exodus. Yep. Yep, Nurgle from Behemoth has a signature strap. Uh, uh, Wayne Loznak, yep, <laughs> Wayne Loznak from Hatebreed has a signature strap. Willie Adler yeah, from Lamb of God, New York, New York North, yeah. Connecticut. So <laughs> they, you know, they got some cool stuff, man. So uh, go check it out, right? That the, you know, it's something for uh, everyone there. So and then, they, and, then, and, then to get in, and then to hit, get in touch with any of these guys, or just to get in touch with Pitchfork, is PitchforkNY.com or the Pitchfork on Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Or just find me on Pitchfork Facebook NY. if you want to hit me up. So yeah, well, you can catch Warren on Facebook, Grinder, and all that good shit. 
So, um, <laughs> yo, well, good. I'm glad I had got to catch up with you guys. Yeah, same here, man. It's been yeah, a yeah. Yeah. Everything went fucking. It's ready to rock this Thursday. And I'm hoping to see you guys in New York. I'll hit you guys in a little while. Yeah, back. So you're gonna uh, you gonna edit it's out me being late. You're gonna edit that part out, or is it gonna is that gonna be on there? When <laughs> we're gonna put a clock. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, hour countdown drive. timer. Yeah, <laughs> on your on your screen. <laughs> do, do, we're gonna get a Tupac hologram do, do, to take your fucking do, do, yeah yeah yeah. Do, do, be your part, your stun double. <laughs> oh, shit. But yo, we out of here. Yo, be safe. So catch up, Pitchfork NY, CasaTheRock.com. Support. Go get the merch. Support real underground shit. We love Metallica, but Metallica's rich. They got enough. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we thanks, out. everybody, for their support, man. All right. Peace. Yo. See you guys. Later, man.